Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, hope you're well. I bring you news today of a new 360 camera. Actually, it's a dual 180 and 360 camera. Here it is. It's called the Insta360 Evo from the same company who developed the Insta360 ONE X, very popular camera. The Evo has a rotatable body, so you can essentially change it from a 180 degree camera, which is in this mode with the two lenses facing forward. And I just press a button here, spin it around, lock it back into place. And now it's a 360 camera, but because the lenses are pointing in opposite directions. The Evo can shoot 5.7K video in both 360 and 180 mode. The 180 video is also 3D because it's got these two lenses. So that provides depth in your videos and photos, which is very good for viewing back on a VR headset. However, Insta360 have also developed a phone accessory and an app that allows you to view this 3D content on your phone without a VR headset and without using those 3D glasses, which I really, really hate. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's really simple. It's just a case. And and also there's a special app that you download. I mean, it's part of the Evo app. The app kind of works in tandem with this case. It tracks your eye movement and the case allows you to see this 3D footage. I haven't actually used it myself because this is for an iPhone X. I'm, I'm gonna borrow one and yeah, then we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna show you some example videos shot with this camera. Now I haven't actually had much of a chance to use it myself thing. Basically, I wanna go and film some street art in London. I wanna kind of create a mini documentary about street art in London because I personally quite like it. I think it's really cool. And actually I was planning to do that kind of project with a professional 360 camera. This one, we'll talk about that another day. But I thought that, well, for street art, actually 180 degree video is more useful or makes more sense because that happens kind of just in front of you, not really in a immersive environment. So shooting 180, that project, I'm gonna use this camera for that and I will post that in about a week or so. And yeah, we'll see how the camera works. In, in real life for me. But I do have some example videos, so I will play it as we go along, and I'm gonna view it on my VR headset soon. So it can shoot video at 100 megabits per second, actually slightly over I found sometimes, which is really good. It means it's gonna be very detailed and quite high quality. It can also shoot 4K video at 50 frames per second, as well as 18 megapixel photos in both 360, 180, and 3D. Another thing about this camera is its compatibility with VR headsets like the Oculus Go and Gear VR. Essentially, Insta360 have developed an app for the Gear the VR and Oculus Go, which allows you to connect straight to the camera and basically watch video straight from the camera on the Oculus Go without having to download any footage, without having to connect it to a laptop or a computer. You just connect these two together wirelessly using the Insta360 VR app, which should be available soon. I will say that I haven't even watched the example videos that they sent me yet because I wanted to do it kind of live as I'm shooting this video on my Oculus Go. So I'm gonna watch it in a second and we're both gonna see it at the same time for the first time. Uh, but yeah, my first impressions otherwise is that, I mean, it's fairly unusual, I guess. Um, I mean, a lot of these cameras now, kind of trying to find ways to do both 360 and 180 and sometimes, you know, some are better than others. I will say that it's a little bit fiddly to change it each time. You have to press one button, then slide it across, then move it, then slide it across again, press another button. But it still takes like 10 seconds. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about it. But yeah, apart from that, I mean, it's fairly simple. It's got a plastic body. It's got a micro SD card slot, a USB, not a USB-C, just a normal USB, whatever the other one's called. Um, and yeah, that's it. There's no screen. So I think it's time we watch these example videos that I've been sent. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I'm seeing them. I'm going to watch it on the Oculus Go now and record the video as I do. And I'll try and tell you what I think. And I will play back the uh, what I record so you can have a look yourself. But yeah, let's go. I have to get this stupid thing on my head and I always look stupid. So this one, this one, these kind of five. So let's do a 3D one first. This is 180 3D. Okay, I need to change. Okay, oh, wow, okay, the bubbles do look like 3D. There is definitely some depth here. Okay. Oh my god, the bubbles work so well. <laughs> the 3D effect works pretty well if you get in your VR headset in the right position. Whoa, <laughs> the bubbles, man, in your face. The three, these bubbles are such a good idea because they work so well in the 3D. <laughs> it literally feels like they're coming up at my eyes. I want to look away. Oh my God, the 3D, it's like being in the IMAX, I swear, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, do you have to get your headset in the right position or is it gets a bit blurry? Oh God, yeah, okay. This is quite cool. I didn't think it would work this well. I mean, this is just a bit of a good demonstration. I mean, there's other cameras that can do this, but 
this bubble effect was a good good kind of demonstration right there's one more wow this is strange <laughs> okay i mean apart from the 3d effects which is working like this is weird this and i'm wearing the same color jeans as this guy as well oh my god it definitely is way more realistic than just a normal video Oh, it feels like I can touch that food, I swear. And the quality is really good as well because it's got that 5.7K, which is quite a high resolution, but it's compacted it into a 180 field of view. I feel like there's someone in front of me and it's really weird. This is funny, this is cool, this is weird. So those were the 180 3D videos. Let's look at some 360 ones now. I mean, this camera isn't, well, I mean, you can shoot 360, but that's not why you would get it because the 3D effect is kind of the coolest thing about it. Nice. Oh god, it makes me miss summer so much. The thing is clearly moving quite a lot, but the camera is stable. The video is stable. It looks quite nice. It's not as good as the 180 video because it's spread out. There's more pixels to, for more area to fill out more area. Ooh. Oh, we're in the sky. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. This is unique. Sweet. Whew. That was an adventure. Oh, look at the state of my hair. Yeah, that always happens when I wear this thing. So I will say that the 3D effect really was quite good. It worked well. The things they chose to do, the, the way they chose to show it with the bubbles, uh, the bubbles worked really well because they're just coming at you and it worked really well. I will say that you have to fiddle with the VR headset to get it in the right position or it all goes a bit blurry and a bit like double vision. I found the resolution to be very good. I mean, the quality, you know, the, that 5.7K compacted into 180 degrees field of view does make a difference, makes everything a lot sharper and a lot more realistic, and the 3D effect is a lot more realistic. And the one where where you're in the restaurant and he was eating, it literally felt like I could pick up that food. It was weird. I mean, it freaks me out a little bit still, and I've seen it so many times before. I mean, the thing is, this is surprising to me because I hate, hate 3D movies. You know, when you go to cinema and you have to wear these glasses, I mean, it just never, it gives me a headache. Um, I just hate it, never liked 3D. But in this context, with a VR headset, it actually works really well. Now there's obviously gonna be some comparisons made with other cameras. I mean, a lot of people bought the Insta360 One X and you may be uh, wondering, oh, well, should I sell it? Should I uh, buy this one now? Why have they released a new one so quickly? To be honest, they're not targeting the same people. Uh, this is much more of an action camera. This is much more of something you would take, you know, running, skiing, snowboarding, surfing, yeah, anything you would do with a GoPro, basically you do with this. Uh, whereas this, the main selling point, is definitely the 3D effect, the 180 effect. I mean, you know, it does shoot the 360 mode, obviously, you know, doing this and this and this. So, I mean, you have the option, which is great. I think most cameras in the future will have both options, because why not? So yeah, if you are interested in that, then this is a very different camera to this one, even though it uses the same lenses and a lot of the same features. Now, this camera's more obvious competitor really is this, the Views XR, which is also a dual... 180 360 camera um it obviously looks very different i mean they basically do the same thing they both shoot 180 3d video and 360 video uh, however just the way it handles it or the movement so for this one you do that and for this one you have to kind of manually so i will say that this one is a bit better for changing it quickly but that's not a huge deal um i will do a comparison between these two you know show you video shot with both of them and anything else you want to know you know like i usually do so that will be coming soon as well and then i'll obviously do kind of a full review you know showing you everything a lot more videos in 360 and 180 moving about at night time in indoors outdoors whether the 3d effect works wherever you are you know i will test it properly and get back to you and then do all the comparisons blah 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 you know how it goes so yeah that's it i guess that's the insta 360 evo if you want to see the full list of specs of this camera and i guess watch those videos back that i showed you check out my website 360cameras.com in the link below uh by the way the camera's gonna cost 419 dollars. i don't know if i mentioned that but yeah see you later bye